Hello everyone, today I prepared for you a short video how I dye leather in this beautiful ox blood effect. So first thing, you need to go to the bathroom and nick your messes. Scrubbing glove. I won't even try to say a proper name, you can see it on the screen anyway. Alright, jokes aside, let's start doing the work. Uh, I dye uh, leather in red first and let it dry completely. Then grab this uh, magical glove and a piece of paper towel. Put scrubbing glove on top of the latex or rubber glove so you won't dye your fingers. Then gently dip a few fingers into the black dye and spread it on the paper towel. Then apply it onto leather. For best effect, apply it in the edges first and then in circular motion apply it to the middle parts of your project. Uh, don't worry about minor imperfections as we're gonna soften them up in next step. For this project you need a veg tan leather and two oil dyes. You can experiment with different colors but oxblood looks the best. In description of this video we include some affiliate links for affordable tools uh, we're using and option to support our channel if you wish. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you got any questions about this technique drop us a comment below. It's time to smooth things out. We apply neat food oil on top of a dye which is still wet then leave leather to soak in everything. I usually leave a uh, leather for about 2-3 to three hours before I apply the finish. So last step we need to do in this leather is to apply the finish. For this project I used Fibbing's sh uh, leather sheen. It gives uh, that polished look to your leather. Obviously if you prefer matte you will need to use different finish. Have a look on couple examples I include in this video. Thanks for watching.